we're at Edradar Distillery, the smallest distillery in Scotland, and a perfect example of a farm distillery, as many distilleries would have been in days gone by. Um, Edradar was established in 1825, I think, um, by a group of local farmers. We're in Perthshire here, right in the middle of Scotland. And the farmers came together, built this small, these group of, this group of buildings to distill their surplus barley. It makes malt whiskey of a very high quality, um, uh, would be described in days gone by as Perthshire malt whiskey, Highland malt, malt whiskey. And to show us round, um, one of the most experienced distillers um, in Scotland, Ian Henderson, um, who has been working in the whiskey industry for 38 years. Thir 30, 38 years. Um, and worked in how many distilleries? This is number 14. Number 14. Yeah. He's only been here, he's been dragged out of retirement actually to work here um, because for many years this distillery was owned by uh, Campbell Distillers, which was a subsidiary of Perna Ricard, the big French company. And uh, then it was bought by a private individual, um, Andrew Symington, who is a, an independent bottler of whiskey. He buys casks from all, all kinds of distilleries and bottles them up um, uh, himself. And he bought this distillery three years ago and dragged Ian um, out of retirement to help him, or well, to run the place for him, because he couldn't run it himself. That's more or less the thing, isn't it? It is, that's about right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I came here to work two days a week, and now work six, because distilleries are a wee bit infectious. Once you start working, you find out there's more and more to do, and really, I, I, I'm, I'm busier than I've ever been. Yeah, right. Mind you, at Laphroaig and Isla, I used to work seven days, but uh, uh, that's another story. And how many folk have you got on site? How many, how many people does it take to run a distillery like well, this? Well, there's three of us make whiskey, um, and we have about any one time in the summertime, we can have up to 14 tour guides because we are probably the second or third most visited distillery in yes. Scotland. Yeah. 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 People like to see things that are original and almost quirky and uh, a link with the past. I know that's nostalgia or what, but um, that, that's what attracts people here. And of course, we do make a, we like to think we make a quality product. Mm. Oh, you do undoubtedly. Yeah. But it's also very useful because everything is so close together that you can see the whole process. It's a perfect place to learn how whiskey is made. It's easy to understand. Mm. It's sim simplicity itself. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. 